This video is going to go through rewriting equations and solving for different variables. So our first problem, I just want you to kind of watch this one. You don't need to write this one down, but this equation says to solve it for n. That means we want it to say at the end of when we're done solving it, we want it to say something like this, n equals, and then a bunch of stuff. Okay, so we are gonna solve it just like we solve normal equations. So I'm gonna draw my line down through the equal sign. And as I look over here, I notice here's the 5n. I want to get this all by itself because I want to solve for n. So I need to look, well, what's over here with this 5n? Well, I see there's this plus 10x. Well, I want to get rid of that first. So I am going to subtract 10x or add a negative 10x to this side. Okay, if I do that, those are going to cancel. So over here, I'm going to add a negative 10x. Now, I can't put a negative 10x with the 20 because those aren't like terms. So I just have to rewrite it like this, 20 plus negative 10x. So here's what I have now. I have 5n on this side equals 20 plus negative 10x. Okay, if you want, you can put that in parentheses so you know it's a negative. Okay, now I still have one more step because I don't want to know what 5n is equal. I just want it to say n. So we gotta try to get rid of this five. So these are connected by multiplication. So you guys need to think, do the opposite of multiplying by five and divide by five. Now on this side, it's nice because five divided by five, that's one. So I just have one n equals. Over here, you have to divide every single thing on this other side by five. So you need to divide this by five and this by five. So if you want, you can write it like this. You can divide every single thing by five. Okay, so when I do that, I'm going to do 20 divided by 5, which gives me 4, plus, and then negative 10x divided by 5. Well, 5 goes in there, negative 2x. So here is my solution. It says n equals 4 plus negative 2x. Now, I could also rewrite it like this, n equals negative 2x plus 4. Either of those would be fine, but I solved it for n, so it says n equals Okay, I don't know exactly what n equals. I know it's equal to negative 2x plus 4. I don't have to figure out an exact number, but it does say n equals this. Okay, we're going to try another one. This one we are going to solve for y. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of write it in yellow so we remember. So we want to get the y by itself. All right, so first thing is I kind of look over here. I see that I have a 3y, and then over with it is this negative 4x. I want to get rid of that first, okay? So I need to think, how can I cancel out that negative 4x? I'm going to add 4x, okay? So that's going to make zero. So over here on the other side, I need to add 4x. Well, I can't put it with the 20, but I can put it with these x's. So I'm going to add 4x to this side, okay? So over here, I just have 3y equals, and I have 20, and then when I put this stuff together, I get plus 2x. Okay, now I have one more step, okay? I want to get it just to say y equals, not 3y. I want to know what 1y is. So I need to split it into three groups or divide by 3. So 3 divided by 3, that's 1. So I just have y equals. And then over here, I'm going to divide every single thing by 3. Okay, now when you're doing this, 20 into 3, 3 doesn't go into 20 nice. So you can leave it like that. So I can just leave it as 20 thirds. Plus, up here, this says two th 2x divided by 3. You can actually pull this fraction part out, and that's the same as writing it as 2 thirds times x. So this would be my final answer. Now, in the last folder that we've been working on, we were always rewriting this in slope-intercept form. So if you guys remember, slope-intercept form looks like this. y equals mx plus b. Okay, so I got the y. So I'll keep that, and then I always want the x to come first. So I want to put this first. So I'm going to put 2 thirds x plus that 20 thirds. Now it's written in slope-intercept form. Okay, so now if I want, I'm just going to point a couple things out to you. All right, so here would be the slope, 2 thirds, and then or the stuff you add on, remember, that's the y-intercept. So I just rewrote it. I solved for y, and I wrote it in slope-intercept form. All right, so we're going to solve another one, and we're going to rewrite it in slope-intercept form. 
So anytime you get the directions to rewrite in slope intercept form, you want to write it so it says y equals, and then you want um, the slope times x first, and then the y intercept second. So let's go ahead and see if we can solve this in slope intercept form. All right, so first thing is I see right away that I need to distribute. So I need to do the 2 times the x and the 2 times the negative 3. Well, 2 times x is 2x, and then 2 times negative 3 gives me negative 6. And that says plus 3y equals 0. Okay, now remember, my goal is it for it to be in slope-intercept form or to solve for y. So I'm just going to kind of make that a different color. So I remember, I'm trying to solve for y. All right, so first thing, I need to get that y by itself. So there's a couple of things i got to get rid of. i got to get rid of this 2x over here and this negative 6. So I can kind of do this at once. I'm going to add a negative 2x to that side and over here, negative 2x, and that cancels. Okay, I also need to get rid of the 6, so I'm going to add a 6 to that side, so it cancels, and a 6 over here. So let's kind of see what we have now. So I have 3y on this side equals, I don't really need to write a 0, <laughs> okay, so it says negative 2x plus 6 on that other side which is good, okay? Now, it's almost in slope-intercept form. So again, remember, I'm solving it for y. So my last step is I want to divide by three, because three divided by three is one. So I have one y equals, now remember, I need to divide both of these things by three. Okay, now this first part, remember, you need to pull this fraction out and multiply it by the x. So that's the same as negative two-thirds x, and then plus, you guys know what 6 divided by 3 is, that's 2. Okay, now this is written in slope-intercept form. So let's just point a couple things out. So the slope, remember rise over run, that's right here, negative 2 thirds. And then the y-intercept is 2. So again, here's the slope, here's the y-intercept. Alright, we have one more to try, and again, we're going to solve this one for y. So we want it to say y equals... All right, now we could solve it for x, but I want to rewrite it in slope-intercept form, so I get good at doing that. So um, first thing I notice, though, is uh, all this stuff back here, I need to kind of rewrite this better because it says negative or the opposite of everything inside here. So I'm going to think, well, what's the opposite of negative x? Well, that's positive x. And then the opposite of 2 is negative 2. And then it says plus 2y equals 10. Okay, now remember, my goal is to get the 2y by itself, so i got to get rid of this other stuff. So I have to get rid of an x and a negative 2. So to get rid of an x, I'm going to add a negative x. That'll cancel. Over here, I'm going to add a negative x. Okay, I also remember that i got to get rid of this negative 2 right away, so I'm going to add a positive 2. That cancels. I'm going to add a positive 2. Okay, so let's see what we have. Those, that 10 and the 2 I can put together because they're both... Just normal numbers, I have 12 plus negative x equals 2y. All right, now I don't want it to say 2y equals, I want it to, to just say 1y, so I need to do divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so I have y equals, I need to divide both of these things by 2. Okay, so if I do that, 12 divided by 2 is 6 plus, Plus, it says negative x over 2. Now, if there's not a number up here, this is like there's a 1 right there. So you can pull that fraction out, negative 1 half, and then x. Now, if I want to rewrite it in slope-intercept form, remember it has to say y equals, you should always put this x first. So negative 1 half x plus 6. Now it's rewritten in slope-intercept form, and I solved it for y. So it says y equals... All right, so if you didn't understand some of those problems, please re-watch a couple of them again so you can see how I solved those. Um, and now you're going to be practicing some on your own.